What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Iron Studios released a new one-third scale Harley Quinn and I felt compelled to talk about it. So let's find out what would George do. First up, probably contrary to most, I do really like this piece. Harley Quinn looks playful and crazy, which is what I want from a Harley Quinn statue. The base has this carnival stage or warehouse vibe going on with it. I love the light up features. They look kind of like incandescent light bulbs, but they are LED lights. Still, I think that gives it a nice, you know, feature showing us where she is in the scene. Around Harley are these little fun gags like that doll of Butter Lou, which looks really cute, very adorable. I love the bomb, gives it this whole funny thing going on there. And I like the Joker ride that she's leaned up against. The ride looks very detailed. It has like that spring load going on with it. And I like that she's leaned up against it. It gives it this kind of playful, sexy pose. Harley herself has a similar look to her new animated series. So it gives me a more adult vibe for this one. I love that the colors are very vibrant. I like that it comes with not one, not two, but three swap out heads. One with her more traditional Harlequin mask, and then you also have these two modern takes for her, which look fun. The costume, I feel, is very well designed with texturing and stitching throughout. I like how the gloves close to a heart shape like that. It looks very cool. I like that the jacket drapes over the body the way it does. It gives it a very natural and interesting look to the overall piece. And overall, the costume just seems very accurate to the source material. So overall, I really love it. It comes at a price tag of $1,200, which I feel is a little bit high, especially since we don't have an addition size to it. I understand that it's a one third scale statue, but it's not extremely over elaborate. So $1,200 seems a little bit on the high side for me. Now, the issues that I have with this one is not really anything that is Iron Studios fault. This thing literally comes in a long line of statues of Joker's sidekick. So, I mean, we've had two from Prime One Studios, an XM, a Sideshow Premium Format, a Sideshow Diorama just in this last year alone, in the last 12 months. I mean, aside from Batman, Harley gets a lot of love. So I just feel like this is just way too much and oversaturated at this point for this character. Now, if I was nothing but a Harley Quinn collector, that was the only character that I loved, that's the only character that I collected, this would be no issue for me at all. I would absolutely buy it. I think it's a fantastic looking piece. But for someone that really tries to only collect one of a particular character, this Harley seems to borrow a lot from other characters that came before it. Prime One and Sideshow already have statues of Harley Quinn on roller skates and with a mallet. Several times over, I might add. So while it's very nice, it doesn't scream original to me. Right now, for my money, I would still go with the Prime One Harley Quinn on Throne over this one and over any of the other Harley Quinns out there. They are priced about the same, with the Prime One being just slightly more expensive than this one if you do choose to not go with the DX version. The DX is about $100 more. But it, that one at least is very unique compared to other Harley Quinn pieces. But that's just my opinion. What's yours? Let's talk about it. 